From online to in-person learning, this school year has been challenging to say the least. So parents, if you're sending your kids back to the classroom, we've got some tips to make it a smooth transition. And improving the social and emotional learning for your child, there's an organization that's available to tackle just that. The school that I have just amazing. Encouraging teachers, this young man's heartfelt message to his school is giving educators a much needed boost. So let's get prepared as we help you get ready before the bell. Welcome to our special Before the Bell Half Hour and getting us in the right mood. Welcoming us this morning, Chandler Dunn's first grade class from Vernal Lister Elementary School in Garland. Hey guys. Yeah, they've already been up talking to Deshara and they are ready to have fun this morning. We've got our virtual Zoom and uh, we're kicking off a beautiful Wednesday. So we're happy that they're awake with us. Shiny, smiling faces. We're gonna check in with them throughout the show, our little pep rally we do on Wednesdays. And on to some top local headlines as they they relate to schools here in North Texas. So students and employees of Fossil Ridge High School in Keller will be allowed to go back to the classroom this morning. Classes were moved to online after a large number of employees were in close contact of someone who tested positive for COVID-19. And starting tomorrow, students in Louisville IST will be able to receive free breakfast and lunch. This is for both students learning in person and online. Rowlett High School has canceled its varsity football games through October 9th. After a player tested positive, Garland ISD said out of an abundance of caution, other team members were quarantined for 14 days. All right, you guys, uh, you can hear the music a little bit. I'm gonna need all of my teachers out there to take a bow because your work isn't going unnoticed. Well, our team found this next video just for all you guys. It's a kid, he's only seven years old and he wants to tell all of the teachers out there to keep going, keep pushing. Hi, Miss Parker. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Good. That was my introduction to seven-year-old Michael Warren, but it wasn't the first time the camera fell in love with what he has to say. This school that I have is just amazing. That video shared on Facebook by his mom, Tanidra West, now has more than 18,000 likes and over 1 million views. All y'all teachers out there, just keep on pushing. Just keep on going. A second grader, y'all, with a message wise beyond his years. My teacher was doing a good job, so I just made me do a do a video. That teacher is Miss Wiggins from Thurgood Marshall Leadership Academy in Grand Prairie ISD, pictured here helping Micah in their virtual classroom. If you could tell Miss Wiggins something something nice right now and make it just for Miss Wiggins, um, what would you tell Miss Wiggins? Um, that she's, aw she's an awesome teacher. Even with his much needed optimism, you know, Micah, he had to keep it real with me. How has virtual learning been for you? Um, good, but I really want to go back inside my building. I, I just got done from school, but um, I came to tell you that um, school's amazing. I love at the end, he was like, look, this virtual thing, it's, it's all right, but I, I want to go back in my building. It's all good. I, I, I know how you feel. Just want to add real quick, Grand Prairie ISD did allow kinder through second grade to return to school earlier this month. However, Micah's parents have chosen to keep him at home. And uh, Mark, hearing Micah say he's ready to go back is a message uh, a lot of parents are hearing. Out to you. Oh, absolutely. And we saw it earlier this week with in-person learning beginning in Arlington and Dallas ISDs, among others. Fort Worth is going to be phasing in their in-person classes beginning next week. It is a big change for our kids in a school year that has been already filled with stress. So to help us understand how to get our kids ready for that transition going back to school in person, I want to say good morning to Dr. Brad Schwal from the Center for Integrative Counseling. Thank you for joining me this morning, Dr. Schwal. Thank you. Uh, how big is the transition when you've been in the virtual classroom going to the in-person classroom? It is big because kids have just now perhaps gotten used to their current routine and now there's going to be another change. And so we must uh, validate and prepare, uh, validate they're going to be nervous because they don't quite know what to expect. Let's say you've got a kid who is reluctant to go back. Maybe they're fearful of getting sick. What are some strategies for getting them excited and on board to being in the classroom? Right, so we do want to validate, validate that feeling. I know that you may be scared about getting sick. I know that 
You may be nervous because you don't know what to expect. So as much as possible, prepare your child by helping them to know what to expect as much as is possible. And reassure them of what the school is doing to keep um, him or her safe. So by preparing, helping them know what it's going to look like, that helps. And when we also prepare them physically, getting sleep leading up to that first day, giving them that good breakfast, getting them everything that they need. And most of all, I think having a positive and calm attitude ourselves, we set the tone. If we can show that we're confident, that sets the tone for our child to help our child feel confident. And real quickly, how important is it for school age kids to be around other kids right now when it comes to their social and educational well-being? Interacting um, as a child is key to kids learning to get along, to work well with others. Education is a relational process. So education relies on relationships. So it is great uh, for kids to be able to be together uh, in a safe way uh, because that social and emotional learning is just as important as that academic learning. Well, Dr. Schwal, as always, I appreciate you waking up early with us and sharing your expertise as we send it now back to Kara. Thank you. Dallas is united to learn is leaning into the adage, many hands make light work. The nonprofit is looking for sponsors to help them improve students' social and emotional learning as they head back into the classroom. United to Learn rallies the community around almost 50 DISD elementary schools to help fill resource gaps and set students up for success. So Carol Golia, president of United to Learn, says focusing on students' well-being is so critical right now. So they're working on a campus improvement project aimed at soothing students. What we've been doing on multiple campuses is bringing calm down corners, which are so amazing. And companies and community groups come in and sponsor those. And then we're able to bring in, you know, expandable breather balls or special weighted pillows or different fidget toys or neat. How am I feeling today? Monster magnets that children can sit in the corner and then calm down. That's why they're called calm down corners. So these are teachers at Gooch Elementary who uh, their classrooms were recently made over with a calm down corner. They were super stoked about it. Ten elementary schools have been outfitted, but United to Learn would like to update all of them with a safe space. So she adds that United to Learn can help customize how a business can help schools, including offering in-person and virtual volunteer opportunities. So in-person career days have been moved online, allowing companies to share hobbies and day-to-day -day responsibilities during a typical work day and encourage kids to explore new activities activities and careers during the pandemic, you can visit unitedtolearn.org forward slash partner to get connected. Still ahead, every day we are learning more and more about COVID-19.